Harlem, New York rapper ASAP Rocky raised a few eyebrows when he admitted in a recent interview that he used LSD. ASAP discussed his drug use while promoting his upcoming album, At Long Last ASAP. The rapper said he used it to cope with the pressure that comes with working in the entertainment industry and that his new music was influenced by the drug. I, I feel like I tapped into a place of psychedelic, classical, grimy, ghetto, contemporary, masterpiece shit. You dig me? Before ASAP Rocky and other confessed users like Chance the Rapper, Denzel Curry, and Apple founder Steve Jobs are judged too harshly, it must be noted that a first-of-its-kind study has taken place in Britain surrounding LSD. Researchers at the University of Cardiff recently gathered 20 volunteers who had their brains scanned while they were high on LSD. The study was led by Professor David Nutt, who maintains the drug is illegal because of exaggerated studies by the United States. What we're doing is trying to use one of the most interesting drugs that's ever been, a drug which many people, such as Steve Jobs, said profoundly changed the way in which they thought about their lives, but a drug which could open up whole new avenues of neuroscience as well as therapeutics. We want to study that. It's, it's irrational to stop scientists studying a drug as important as LSD. British researchers think the drug can have a positive therapeutic effect on the brain in small doses. Professor Nutt said the aim of the study was to see if LSD can help users cope with stress, alcoholism, anxiety, and even death. Now this is a drug which has been available for 70 years, which changed the whole way in which young people perceived the world in the 1960s and 70s. Uh, changed music, but it's never been studied. And it's not been studied because it's been banned. And we decided it's ridiculous that, that that ban should actually stop scientific research into this really interesting drug. To read more, log on to collegehiphop.com slash LSD.